Just in case someone might think, oh, she cut her hair. No, I removed the hair that was not mine from my head. Actually, one time a woman complimented my hair and I, in a moment of annoying insecurity, said, well, it's not really my hair, it's extensions. And she very seriously said, did you pay for them? And I said, yes. And she said, well, then it's your hair. And true. I know that there are other people with this problem because if you're like me and you make impulsive decisions about your hair and were alive the last couple of years, you probably at some point gave yourself a wolf cut, which was cute when my hair was to here, but then I bleached it and had to chop it off. Joke's on me because the ends are still dead. I'm into my short hair. I like it, except because of the wolf cut, I have this situation with the front layers. You see, it's looking very staircase. I saw a lady on the internet do this, which... <laughs> is how it always starts. She just put a couple of extensions, these are tapins, right at those layers and evened it out. And I did my whole head of tapin extensions, so I can definitely do that, which yes, I recognize our famous last words, but I can do this. Cutting my hair, dyeing my hair, everything that has ever happened to it, I've done myself, as you can clearly see. And every time someone has to say, you should go to a professional, which I do, her name is youtube.com. If they didn't want me doing my own hair, why do they put Sally's beauty supplies so readily available to me? They, they want me to do it. Now, I'm not saying ruin your hair, but in a broader sense, doing things yourself builds confidence. I taught myself how to drive. The first time I drove a car alone was when I was driving the car that I bought with my own money off of the lot. And I did have my brights on the whole way home because I didn't really pay attention to that part of the driver's ed course that I took. Now, in case you actually want to do this, I can't really get around these layers because I don't want to go further up on my head, but I put three on this side, six tapes total, but three sandwiches, and I'm gonna do the same to the other side and then I'm gonna cut it, that's where we are. I actually cut one and half and I'm gonna put one more on that side but then I'm gonna do the other side okay okay this is what we have if before it was a staircase now it's a broken elevator I also like to make sure I can tuck my hair behind my ears and I wear glasses so I want to make sure they're comfortable oh I have my contacts in so that was bad for my eyes and I don't have any carrots in the fridge so we're just gonna try the sunglasses feels comfy now we're gonna cut trying to fight the impulse to cut my bangs because that's what usually happens when I bring these out but I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna use the back of my hair as a guideline and it's actually okay if it's not perfect because the rest of my hair you get it this is a rough cut I'm gonna spend another two to seven hours adjusting it but here we have a better baseline, you know? Boop, boop, boop. I'm no Megan Trainer, but I just hope you learned something. Even if that thing was to go to a professional, that's fine. That's fine. I'm cool with that.